Hey there! Today we're going to learn how to replace values in R. And replacing values is something that is unavoidable when you're working with data. So let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a variable. Let's go and call it test data. And I'm going to put in all these values here. And I'm going to print that just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, one thing I want you to notice right off the bat here, this is what R calls a, a vector. Um, it's not a column, right? Notice that this one here in parentheses, there's no two, three, four, etc. So we're just looking at one row. This is important. This is going to become important later. But for now, I just want you to take quick note of that and look that, you know, just check that we've input um, all of these values here. Now let's go ahead and do a very simple replace command. So I've called this variable test data here, right? So now I'm going to create a new version of that. Just call it test data again. And I'm going to replace, note the syntax, I'm going to replace the first value with one. So when we, do, when we do the replace command and we issue the variable name right after that, what I'm saying is this one here, it refers to that because it's the first value, right, in the row. And the next one here says, well, I want you to take this first value and I want you to turn it into a one. Now I'm going to print that. You notice what happened. We used to have a zero here. Now we have a one. All right. So if you're working with a vector, uh, that's the easy way to go ahead and just, you know, issue the command and tell R um, to replace a specific number in a specific position with another number. However, that's kind of rare. What's typically going to happen is you're going to have what R calls a data frame. And I'm going to create one for you now using the syntax here. I'm going to create a new variable, sub. Let's pretend that that's subject and sequentially running from 1 to 20. And within this data frame, um, I'm moving these new test data into it, and I'm just going to print that out, show you what that looks like. So notice the first thing that happened. We now have lots of rows, right? We don't have just one row like we used to have. We have two columns and uh, 20 rows. And what this might uh, what this might be part of is let's say that we have 20 students and you know or subjects for a psychology test or something. They all took a test, and these are their scores. All right. So now let's say that this is the this is the structure that your data are in, and you want to now make that replacement. First, go back and notice that we created a data frame and we called it df, right? Notice the data frame command that we gave here. So now when we're going to change something, let's say that we're going to change this one, right, that we just that we just changed from a zero. Let's change that back to a zero. In order to do that, we have to now acknowledge the data frame. So df is the data frame name, so we're going to say df dollar sign test data, which is still the variable that we're interested in. And really, the syntax remains the same except for acknowledging the data frame here. Now, once again, I'm going to remind you of the syntax here. This says this first one here says, go look at the first value. And the second number here, zero, says, take that first value, turn it into zero. Now, let's do that and print it and confirm that's what happened. Uh, sure, it did. So that one, we used to have a one over here. We just turned that back into a zero which is pretty good, you might say, what if we want to change everything in a data frame, right? You don't want to just go mucking around, uh, changing ones to twos and sevens to eights here and there. You want to do something more wholesale. Well, here's a command that can do that. So I'm going to create a version of this data frame here where every value that's either zero or three gets changed into a two. So notice we have all these zeros and we have these threes here. We're going to change it into a two, and then we're going to print that data frame. And lo and behold, that's what happened. All the zeros and all the threes became a two. However, you might have picked this up if you're watching closely. Notice that we had a subject number three that got changed into a two. Now, I did this on purpose just to show you that, look, if you want to change everything in a data frame, be very careful because it's going to change those numbers everywhere in every column, right? And you might not want that to happen. So now I'm going to take us back to the version that we had and show you um, what to do in order to fix that error. Um, I went back and recreated the old data frame, you know, the way that we had it before all the twos popped up. And let's just confirm that we did that. Yep, this is the way that it used to be. 
Notice that the two that used to be here went back to a three, which is great. Now, what I'm going to do in order to change these zeros and threes um, all into a two, I'm going to treat test data as a data frame. So notice I'm creating a new variable, and I'm issuing the data frame command so that I'm going to take this column, test data, which is part of a data frame, and I'm going to make it into its own data frame. Next, in this line, I'm going to issue that command here where all the zeros and threes get turned into a two. And then finally, I'm just going to print that out for you so you can see what that looks like. Okay, well, notice here, yep, that worked. So we have this test data and all the zeros and threes got turned into a two. Notice that subject is not here yet. That's okay, because we're going to have to do a new command to create that data frame again. So now I'm using R's command for as vector to change test data as a data frame back into a vector. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to go back to the old structure that we had, if you remember, where I had the subjects on the left and I had the test data on the right, except this time I want the new uh, values in test data to show up. That's why I'm using this command, and I'm going to print it. Okay, so notice what happened this time. All the zeros and threes in test data went to two. Nothing happened to sub, which is great. You remember how this three here used to be a two? Well, that's not a problem anymore. Um, so that is one thing that you have to do. There, there can be extra work involved in, you know, taking a, a part of a data frame, like, you know, a specific variable like test data and turning that into its own data frame. But if you follow along the logic of what we did here, it can be very, very handy if you want to just do like wholesale um, transformations, replacements of uh, values in R.